Yeah, for sure. All right, we're here. Off season has begun. Time to get back some videos going for you guys. But today, we're doing a little bit different. I got no straps because I did this last week. No wraps because I did this yesterday. But uh, that'd be my excuse for Matt being stronger than me today. It'd be my hamstring injury. Just like, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I couldn't put my wraps on. That's why. That's why he's stronger. So gonna beat his ass at eating sushi. letting the swelling fall out of my arm and into my shoulder. Make sure I can close my hand. Last week I had no knuckles when I did this one. It's a good look. Look at that, look at that. I went to sushi a few too many times. Nice sausage, fist and fingers. I actually feel good today though. I thought I had an excuse, now I'm just gonna be strong anyways. Just a little bit in the back. Yep. Yep. Some midget problems right there. Plus, I get the step up and I have small legs, we all know. One more set. You can't talk shit about me, people. I already know. I already know. Three, two, two. Three, two, three. Three, two, four. Three, two, five. Four, three, two, six. Three, two, seven. Three, two, eight. So, I really focus on the negative um, on each rep. One thing that drives me nuts is every time I put a post up and I'll say four count negative, there's always one dipshit that has to go on there and go, that was nowhere near four seconds. I use my words, kids. Four count. I didn't say four second. Four second is one, two, three. Could you imagine how fucking long that would take? Four count. Four, three, two, up. It's just control. It's consistency. So it is still a controlled negative, but you don't need to do four seconds. It would take forever. It's pointless. And you sound like dumb when you try to be a smart ass and I come back with you and point it out. I just did that on Instagram Messenger the other day. Some asshole did that. I'm like, that's all I said. Now you just look like an idiot. Anyways, I, re I digress. Let's get back to this. Four count negative. They're fun when you grab them. They feel all tiny. Still line up your circles, even though it's a smaller one. You want to still be able to see through, right? Teach them when they're young, when they're 25s. When they grow up to be 45s, they know where to go. Parenting. Strong and safe. Come on. Come on. One, two, get up. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, two. Four, three, two, three. Four, three, two, four. Four, three, two, five. Four, three, two, six, drive. Come on, come on, come on. Again. Four, three, two, seven, drive. Push, 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 push. Let's finish on the negative. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, up. Good. Breathe. 15 breaths. 15 breaths. So one thing that we uh, make sure to do on these, we always finish on the negative. So during the set, you'll see I'll tell him negative, and then he'll finish up spot him up for partial of a rep when we get to top if I say negative he's gonna finish going down negative and on that last one you'll see I pretty much try to take the way away from him and we just rack it so it's one last negative make sure we use every ounce of energy he's got and then we go again we got one more then we're going into a static hold so he's gonna take his 15 deep breaths we get him to the very top he's gonna bring it down about a quarter of the way down and just hold it as long as he can once it starts to fall too quickly I'm just gonna spin it and he's done all we're doing here is making sure that the chest is completely taxed. Treating this set like it's the only one he's going to do all day. And then we're going to lie to it and do more. We lie. Don't ever let the truth get away with a good story, huh? Five. Ten. Fifteen. I 
wish this was down like a quarter inch so I could let you fight a little bit lower. Yeah. So that's so low the next one, I'm like, hey, you won't get out. And I don't want to be stuck there because I want to do my set. It's not about safety, it's about me. I mean, whoops. One, two, yep. Ooh. Yours. Four, three, two, up. Four, three, two, up. Three, two, up. Three, two, up. Come on now. Three, two, up. Three, two, up. One more. Three, two, up. Up. And yeah, that's why I stay holding on, apparently. Put down to a quarter on that. One, two, yep. Yours. Three, two, up. Three, two, up. Push, 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 come on. Three, two, up. Trip, trip, come on. Four, three, two, up. Finish on the negative. Four, three, two, up. Up. This moves about a half an inch. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm like, I didn't drop that. One, two, yep. Three, four, two, one. Three, 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 two, one. Up. And the limbo for extra credit. Just keeping the static a little tight. And uh, I'm still at the point where uh, I've figured out when it's time to push, when it's time not to. I think it's a huge mistake a lot of guys make. My personal opinion is you don't change anything based on the fact you're filming. So, you know, I see a lot of guys will go for something they wouldn't do if they weren't filming. It's like, that's like asking to have proof of your injury on tape. For me, if the body doesn't feel right, I've had videos where we started out to do arms and do legs because my arms hurt or something. So on this, I felt a little twinge the whole time. It's not even worth it. I got a good pump. Matt kept things moving there. We did a couple extra reps that I definitely got some good assistance from him on. Pump is there, we'll move on now and uh, live to go another day. different here something I've kind of grown attached to and don't confuse this for the idea that I created this mindset but flexibility and stretch is everything on these with my shoulder I don't ever go beyond about shit, two inches above my chest when I'm getting into heavy weight on a press um, but I still believe in open up the muscle getting as stretched as possible it tends to grow my calves wouldn't grow forever I started stretching them under weight consistently every day they started to grow so this is something we started throwing in just literally a week ago. Uh, Dante had kind of suggested it and uh, I tweaked it around a little bit and you're about to see what we're doing here. Do a five second, second this time gentlemen, hold into the negative, or I should say into the stretch, and then we go up again. So it'll be a lot lighter weight, but it's gonna hurt like hell. Matt's actually gonna watch the time and tell me when to go up. Five, four, three, two, is it too late to pretend it didn't hurt? I had a genius idea. Dante's fucking mean. Dick. 
Look at these things though. I paid over ten thousand dollars for a series. I bought it and made it myself. <laughs> for free. I just rested at the bottom and paused at the bottom. Matt did a row. Yeah, you were literally we good. at that stop down there. A little bit, you know, I was actually pushing forward. He thinks I was there to count. I wasn't. I sat on the bottom to rest. <laughs> rest. Pause. Go. Go. All right, moving on. do things to chase the pump but uh if you want to throw something in extra painful that was it chest feel like it explode right now and uh it's a good feeling you know you're doing it right when that happens earn the sushi oh that's cool when the shoulders get involved it's pretty purple I wonder what that's from all right so basically what we're doing same idea what we were doing in that set where all we're gonna do is come up, bring it to the bottom of a, of a fly. Only difference I do, I like to bend the elbows a ton and then kick the chest up. As you get, so it starts to hurt, the natural reaction is gonna be to resist or let the chest cave to take some of the stress off. So you'll see during the set, keep pulling the chest up, up, up. That's just to keep the stretch in there, as long as you can hold it. And then once it gets into the delts or anything like that, you pull, but just giving the chest some room. It's like a snake in the cage, you know? The bigger the cage, the larger the snake grows. In this case, the snake is a peck and not a snake. Ah. 70, come on. <clears throat> My hands went numb. <laughs> it's good I couldn't feel the weights anymore. All right. Wow. Uh, stretch is done. Chest is done, so here we are. What is it? August, end of August. Off season just truly kicking off. I was uh, 294 this morning. Promised myself I'd stay 295 or below for the Olympia. So three more weeks. Try not to gain two more pounds. Um, I mean, truthfully, if I gained, but it looked okay, it's fine. I'm trying to pace the gaining. Um, this weekend we'll be doing a little extra eating, so I might have to dial it back before I see you all in Vegas. But uh, strength is up. Body actually feels really, really healthy, so it's gonna be a great off season, and uh, we're gonna keep you guys in the mix. On it. I'll show you what each look looks like as well. Tomorrow, I'll give you a peek at what uh, 295 of Chubb looks like. So, until then, it's time to go eat.